ACR it's a great opportunity to stay tuned with interventional cardiology. To hear about uh, new trials, topics that are selected, new techniques, live session. We're up to dating with our practice. So it's a fantastic opportunity for networking, gathering different experience all over the world. That gives you, that opens your mind. Thank you to be part of this. We did a clinical trial here with left atrial appendage occlusion in patients with atrial fibrillation and a prior intracerebral hemorrhage. And the key findings from this study where the primary endpoint was a composite one of mortality, stroke and major bleeding. The key finding was that the risk for the combined endpoint is reduced by 80% by left atrial appendage occlusion compared to what is now standard medical care. So I think these data really suggest that left atrial appendage occlusion can be of major benefit to this group of patients with AF and a prior intracerebral bleeding. So what we did is uh, a comparison of results after implantation of bioresorbable devices in acute myocardial inf in infarction compared with metal devices. And what we found is that uh, acute uh, angiographic uh, uh, results were really comparable, but when we analyzed the uh, clinical outcomes at mid-long term follow-up at 18 months, uh, there was a, a slightly higher rate of events in the bioresorbable group. This was really related to the implantation technique and to post-dilatation in those patients. So so the key message from this study could be that a real a dedicated implantation technique also in acute myocardial infarction is a key point to ensure good results also in the mid-long term when implanting bioresorbable devices. Live demonstration uh, flawless, Dr. Luigi Di Serafino and uh, Dr. Francesco Della Rosa. Good morning to everyone uh, and welcome to Cotignola. I'm here with Dr. Antonio Mica and Dr. Kerimo Shoala. What sort of uh, guiding uh, catheter are you recommending in this case? This is a five French uh, guiding catheter, large lumen. I really like to use a guiding catheter because of the soft tip. So we are not traumatic in the carotene cannulation, during cannulation. We established a global registry. We have 11 countries participating, a total of 47 centers, and we are treating patients with severe annular calcification who have no treatment options, who are inoperable, and we implant a transcatheter aortic heart valve in the mitral position to, to, to treat the mitral stenosis or the regurgitation. In patients with severe mitral annular calcification who have symptoms and no other treatment options, it's uh, feasible to treat them with transcatheter mitral valve replacement using commercially available devices for um, aortic, for TAVI. Um, there are problems that can happen in the early experience, but if we work together, then we can help uh, decrease those problems that can be uh, em valve embolization, um, LVOT obstruction. Uh, the importance of this is we can offer a new therapy to patients who didn't have an option, and this is only the early experience. We will have a clinical trial that will further evaluate this. Do we have enough information for a clinical decision on what to do? This uh, kind of session is wonderful because it was a sharing center. There is no leader, there is no uh, attendees, there is a, a, a lot of people who share their experience and the, the, the audience built the session. So, the different question asked by the audience is what is the risk when we post uh, a video, when we uh, exchange some commentary with the uh, other physician, what is the risk in uh, social media? The main message is that we have to be open, so open mind to social media and we have to share uh, everything that uh, we think that is uh, uh, useful for the medical clinical practice. We have to be polite, which is important, we don't have to be angry when we share something. 
and we have to be open mind. So I think that uh, uh, making this as a guidelines, so we can uh, learn from other people. We can uh, mean uh, have a sort of error PCR every day, so we don't have to wait uh, once per year to learn something, but we can learn uh, every time.